Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence and I give you thanks, Lord, for the day that you have given us, the new mercies that are new today. I thank you for your love and compassion toward us. Thank you, Father God, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, because you see all things and there is nothing hidden in your sight. Father, I ask that you will be with those who are struggling right now with illnesses, who are struggling with their faith, who are struggling in their families, who are struggling with finances, Lord. Whatever their struggle is, I ask you, Father God, that you will help them to keep their perspective on you, that you will help them, Lord, with understanding and giving them wisdom. Father God, we glorify and magnify your name because you are our good and faithful friend. There is none like you. Father God, thank you for the freedom that you provide to us. Thank you for the forgiveness that you give us each and every day when we ask. Father, these things I pray in your son's name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Are You a Slave or Lord? It was written by Istra Kameke and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. The biblical base comes from Romans chapter 12, verse 11. So says the word of God. Not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. The Apostle Paul declared himself a servant of Jesus Christ. He does not have his life as his own, but must give it to his Lord so that he may be his owner. If we are lords and masters of ourselves, it will be difficult for us to become the one who brings the good news of Jesus Christ, because we have no other lord than our humanity, and we prefer to do our will. The word teaches us that it is impossible to serve two masters. Being a slave, we must consult our Lord about everything. A slave does not make his own decisions, nor does he do what seems good to him. Perhaps that is our way of serving. But unfortunately, we are not servants of Jesus Christ. We are servants of ourselves. In the laws of Exodus chapter 21, we find an unequivocal sense of consecration. Being able to choose freedom, the slave preferred to serve his master for life. Lord, I don't want to go free. I want to stay with you. Freedom is being by your side and serving you. I don't want to do what I want, but to do what you want me to do. Thus, with a pierced ear, I will bear the visible seal that I am your servant for eternity. This question is about your identity with Christ. Are you a servant or are you Lord? Amen. My brothers and sisters, we can't serve two masters. We can't serve ourselves and be the master of ourselves and serve the Lord and have the Lord be the master over us at the same time. We must choose who we are going to serve. Choosing to serve Christ is choosing freedom, freedom from the bondage of sin, freedom from eternal death, freedom that Jesus Christ can only give. My brothers and sisters, are you a slave or are you the Lord? Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. God. I'm no longer a slave. 
my mother's womb You have chosen me Love has called my name I've been born again To a family Your blood flows through my veins Amen. What a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for the daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.